it's interesting, isn't it, how we come full circles. Conservative governments come in, ratchet up the waiting lists and Labour governments have to sort them out. And you're right, that's exactly where we'll, we'll end up having to be. I think there are three things at the forefront of my mind in terms of bringing down waiting lists. First is dealing with the central workforce challenge. We went into the NHS uh, pandemic, sorry, into the pandemic with the NHS with 100,000 staffing vacancies, 112,000 in social care. So without a workforce strategy, you don't have a plan for the NHS. The second thing we've got to do is sort out social care. There are, I think in November, there were 400, over 400,000 cases where people were able to be discharged from hospital into the community, but couldn't because the care home wouldn't take them or the community settings weren't and the support wasn't there. So you've got to deal with delayed discharges. And the third is, uh, in terms of the private sector capacity, as the last Labour government showed, using the private sector to bring down NHS waiting lists is effective, it's popular with patients, but it comes at a cost. So no doubt the government will turn to the private sector. No doubt the next Labour government may have to use private sector capacity to bring down NHS waiting lists. And I won't shirk that for a minute to get people better health outcomes. But I will be pretty furious at the costs involved because it shouldn't be the case that because Tory governments run down the NHS, we have to spend more taxpayers' money than would be necessary in the private sector because we haven't sorted out the public sector. So that, that, that's, that will be my focus. That's fascinating because if, essentially it's a value-for-money argument, whereas for some people it's deeper than that, isn't it? It's in their gut. Keir Starmer sat in that chair not so very long ago and told the story of his very sick mother in intensive care he said to me, it's touch and go. She held my hand and she said, you won't let your dad go private, will you? As a former NHS nurse, that sense that going private was a betrayal. You're saying Labour can't afford to have that view. Uh, I feel viscerally in my heart the same. Uh, and my approach to private health is the same as private education and private schools. I don't like it. I don't like the fact that people have to pay for what they see to be a better experience. Uh, but I'm also pragmatic enough, and so my head kicks in over my heart to say, well, we're not going to abolish private schools and we're not going to abolish private health. You'd spend a huge amount of time, money and uh, and legal battles trying to do something that doesn't actually make anyone's experience better. My ambition as health secretary will be to make the NHS so good that people don't have to go private.